Hi there, good afternoon. My name is Mohamed Sikdam, one of the fourth year medical students. Today I've just been asked to examine some of the nerves on your face. This will involve me just having a look at your face, having a feel around it, and getting you to do some movements. Would that be okay? That's fine. Brilliant. Before I begin, can I please confirm your name and date of birth? Yes, it's John Smith, and my date of birth is 4th of the 5th, 1988. Very nice to meet you, John. So first of all, I would like to start off by examining John's uh, nerve number, cranial nerve number one, the olfactory nerve. John, have you noticed any changes in your smell at all? No. No? And ideally, I would like to uh, test this formally, but for the purposes of the examination, I shall only leave it at that question. I'm now going to move on to um, assess John's uh, second cranial nerve, the ophthalmic nerve. John, have you noticed any changes in your vision at all? No. No? I would ideally check both colour vision and visual acu acuity using the Ishihara and the Snellens charts, respectively. What I'm going to do now, John, is shine this bright light into your eyes. Can you, uh, what I want you to do is just focus on my nose for me as I do it, okay? So I'm just going to check the visual responses. I'm just going to start off with the direct and the consensual and then the direct and then the consensual. It's brilliant. And I'm now going to switch the light between your eyes, that's okay? And there was no RAPD that I could see now. John, can you focus on my nose for me? I'm going to be a meter away. Can you tell me which finger you see is wiggling? I'm now testing the visual fields. Fantastic. John, can you cover up one of your eyes for me? Yeah. Let me know when you can see my finger wiggling. Yep, I can see it. Brilliant. Yes, I can see it. Keep it covered. Yep. Brilliant. Yes, indeed. Brilliant. Can you now ch uh, alternate your eyes for me? Let me know when you can see my finger. Yep, I can do that. Yep. Keep it covered. Yep. Yeah. That's fantastic. So that's visual fields check. John, what I want you to do now is focus on the wall behind you, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm now just going to check for accommodation and then focus on the finger. So there's a normal accommodation reflex that I could see. What I'm going to ask you to do now, John, is look at my finger and then look at my fist. Alternate between them. Switch, 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 switch. Fantastic. What I'm now going to do is check uh, John's eye movements. So John, if you just for keep your head fixed and follow my finger using only your eyes, let me know if you have any pain or see any double vision. The smooth tracking of the finger with no other abnormalities observed. I'm now going to ch move on to check John's sensation using nerve number five. John, have you noticed any changes to the sensation on your face at all? No. No? I'm going to now put this cotton wool in parts of your face. This is what normal feels like. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me if you can feel it and if it's the same on both sides? Yep. You just close your eyes for me. Yes, I can feel that. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. I'm also going to check the motor function of cranial nerve number five using masseter and temporalis strength. John, can you clench your teeth for me? Normal masseter, normal temporalis strength. I'm now going to move on to assess cranial nerve number seven. John, can you raise up your eyebrows for me? Don't let me push them down. Can you squeeze your eyes up for me? Can you take a few glasses if that's okay? It might be a bit easier. And don't let me pull them open. Puff out your cheeks. Don't let me push them in. Give me a big grin. That's brilliant. So that's normal function of cranial nerve number seven. Have you noticed any changes to your sense of taste at all, John? No. No? So there appears to be the normal sensation of cranial nerve number seven. And ideally, I would also check for the corneal reflex as well incorporating both cranial nerve number five and cranial nerve number seven. John, can I ask, have you noticed any changes to your hearing at all? No changes. No? I'm just going to do a crude hearing test. Sure. Can you just tell me the number I whisper in your ear? 35. 48. Brilliant, okay. And ideally I would like to do the Renee's and Waver's test had I more time. I would also get John to do the Utenberg's test just to check for any vestibular nerve lesions as well. Moving on to assess nerves 9 and 10, I'm going to ask John, have you noticed any issues with swallowing at all? No. No? Can you just say ah uh, for me? Ah. Uh. So I'm assessing for uvular deviation, which there is none of, and a unilaterally raised palate, which again there is none of. John, can I ask you to have a swallow of water for me? Yeah. That's fantastic. I'm now going to move on to assess the accessory nerve. John, can you um, raise your shoulders for me? Don't let me push you down. Push into my hand. Push into my hand. That's fantastic. So that's normal uh, accessory nerve function. John, can you stick out your tongue for me? So now I'm assessing for the hypoglossal nerve. There's no tongue fasciculation and it's not um, deviated to any specific side. John, can you push your tongue to the side of your cheek? Don't let me push it in. 
and the other side. Don't let me push it in. Thank you very much, John. So hypoglossal nerve seems intact as well. That concludes my examination. So in summary, I performed a cranial nerve examination on this 23-year-old gentleman. I did not find any specific lesions of any of the cranial nerves, and all cranial nerves through 1 to 12 were intact. That concludes the video. Hope you guys found it useful. Please feel free to share and subscribe. And if you have any comments, leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you in the next one.